Using fire as a tool in agriculture is nothing new. It has been used in various ways for thousands of years. Recently, there has been a renewed interest in using flames, heat, and high temperature to control unwanted pests in agriculture. Motivation is provided by renewed interest in integrated pest management, chemical safety concerns for food residues and environmental reasons, chemical costs, and legal limitations on chemicals approved for use in food production. Using heat to control weeds is known as thermal weeding, or flame cultivation. Its usefulness in cranberry production is currently being evaluated. Flame cultivation has no residues, no re-entry intervals, and no pre-harvest intervals. It may be a good tool for growers to control weeds that have no other effective control, organic systems, weeds that are herbicide resistant, and in areas that are ecologically sensitive. Flame cultivation works by exposing plants to brief periods of high temperature. It causes plant cell membranes to rupture, leading to injury and death. Plants are not ignited or burned. During treatment, plant leaves may show a color change and wilted appearance, and damage will become more visible hours or even days after treatment. As with many types of weed control, a single treatment will likely not eliminate the weed completely, but will injure it, reducing its size and impact on the crop. The success of flame cultivation for weed control will depend on the weed species and growth stage.